can get started. Uh, so can you share the uh, you can start from your introduction. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is Yashmin Ravikumar. I have 1,000 of experience as a web developer. Uh, coming to my experience, I have skills, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, Bootstrap, and uh, Angular, and a little bit of React also. So, total I have 1.2 experience, relevant experience in Angular 3.5, and uh, React is around 3 years. And uh, as a web developer, around 6 years uh, in relevant experience. Uh, uh, my previous company is Kino Technology. Um, um, here I work from last 7.2 years. Uh, this is a little brief about me. Yeah. You got a total of 6 years of experience, right? Relevant experience, six point, around 6 point, total experience 7.2. No, no, I'm asking the total years of experience? 7.2. 7.2. 7 7 7 Angular, in your technologies, Angular, Angular, how much experience you have? Angular around 4 years, uh, React around 3 years. Angular. Worked on both technologies. Okay. Okay. Angular version you have used? Hmm? Which Angular version you have used? I worked 2, 4, 6, 9, 8, 7, 8, 9, most I used. 8 I used, most I used. 8, 9, yeah. Yeah. You know what is the latest version of Angular? It's 13. 13. 14 is available, yeah. Yes. What is available? Okay. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. I think recently they released the 14 also, yeah. Okay, we'll get started anyway. Uh, how to create a singleton service in Angular? How to? Create a singleton services in Angular. Singleton services, right? So, service, we create a service file using the um, uh, we can, we can create manually or create the collision command ng generate service service file. Uh, so this is, is created our service file within the other rate decorator. <laughs> Sorry, other rate uh, injectable decorator. So in, the, in there we can use the option provide the rate uh, for the root value. So what we do is so we want we want to use the service is to create one instances. So that instance uh, the instances anywhere you can want you can inject that one. For example, if you create the one on service, if you want to use the service file in multiple components, so we need to inject the, the service instances uh, in the component constructor. So the service creates a singleton instance. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Angular 2 plus is two-way data binding. Okay. Okay. So what are the changes that we make in the template will get reflected in the model and vice versa. I think okay. It's the MG model they will do right. NG model directly. Yeah, NG model and uh, template binding also we should use. But behind the scene, Angular is doing something to make it work. We, sh we should use NG model, but it's not about the NG model. Angular is doing something behind the scene to make it work. Mm -hmm. Something like a, so we need to do something like we need to know the forms module also. No, it's not not like that. And uh, it's it's internal to Angular. Okay. So instead of using NG model, how to we achieve the uh, two way binding? Is that the question? No, no, no. We should use NG model. Okay. But it's not along, along with the NG model. We, we, we only use NG model, but behind the scene, Angular is doing something. Okay. If we use NG model, it should not it, it should be two data binding, right? Okay. But it's not about that. Angular is doing something behind the scene. Something like mutation the data. Hmm? It's, it's mutating the data. When when we vice for for example in the component uh, property, if change is it will change wherever uh, the the property is calling in all places that is updated. Okay, what's the difference between subject and behavior subject? So the subject and behavior both are useful to create the observables. So, but the um, behavior subject have one default value, subject value does not have any default value. Uh, and uh, when we subscribe the behavior subscribe, when we subscribe the behavior subject observable, it gives the two value, previous value and the latest value. But the subject will give them only the latest value. So, okay, I have an observable. I am going to uh, subscribe uh, that observable using subject and behavior subject. Okay. Hmm. 
what's the what value i'll be getting inside the subject and the subject in subject i'll get the latest value what is the latest value of the update that is updated no it's it's, it's a, uh, initially i'm going to I'm, i'm going to subscribe only okay 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 so it's an it's a it's a it's an, it's an observable uh i'm going to subscribe at the first time okay using subject and behavior subject for subject it will uh, it will not get anything but behavior subject will we need to have on default well that the full value will get it a subject we will get which value i think it's not getting anything initially mm -hmm. okay okay like okay okay uh okay uh what are different types of pipes generally we have the pure and impure pipes uh, pure pipes will update for every impure pipes will update for every change uh, that is that is i have a idea uh, but pure way pure way for update only when they update when we task on the data like that okay i have i have a list uh, it's it's having three uh an yeah. array of objects and it it contains three objects value okay Two and it contains any. It contains one date value that that I am uh, formatting uh, using my custom pipe. Okay, and I am using pure pipe. Okay, so initially all the values are formatted uh, as I am expected. Okay, and into that I am going to push one more object. Okay. 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 I want to push one more object. Um, will will that they just be formatted in a different way? Um, uh, for uh, for um, for impure, uh, I think uh, for for pure, if it updated, it will update it. I think so. Hmm. For pure, it will update it, but impure, it is not updating. I think. For pure, it will update. Okay. Oh. There are two API calls, uh, API one and API two, that needs to be called parallelly. Uh, it's not like I'm calling one API and then calling the another API. It's not like that. It needs to be called parallelly. When both the API resource data, I need the whole result in a single uh, uh, actually array. So. Oh, how are we going to do it? There are multiple, uh, like match map, switch map. Uh, so I think it's a match map. Uh, there is other way to look like fourth join. So uh, I think if any one of one of them is we use that one. Maybe it's fourth join or merge merge map something which we are using. Yeah. Okay, I'm using fourth join. Uh, and my first API is failing, and second API becomes success. Mm. Okay. Then what would be the overall result? Fourth join. I think our job. I think success will take uh, as per our understand. The second one will take. Second will take. Second will take. Definitely. I have done the unit testing in Angular. Yeah, using Jasmine, Karma, Jasmine, I, I write the test cases. Jasmine, Karma, for Karma, for Karma, I use. Okay. 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 Enums like we can depend the or the custom the custom data types uh, like for example um, you have the fruit if I want to create one custom type fruit like enum so that for fruit uh, so we need we give some default value like mango or apple or orange so it it must be it must be any any one of that that uh, that values that is the enum type. What are the tuples? Yeah, the pulls. Yeah, the pulls. I think uh, the other types keep. Uh, I mean, the other ones are very different. Custom types. If if not that one is is checking for the one of the other. I think. Okay, is there? No, sir. I think no, sir. 
synchronous means uh, one of the other, one of the other one of the other so, javascript is javascript synchronous or asynchronous synchronous how to make it asynchronous uh, we asynchronous we use the promise functions Put a chat. Just put a chat. Okay. Hello. I put a chat. Okay. 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 Uh, actually, it's a method. It's a method. Uh, sum, and it said that I defined a variable sum equal zero. It's for finding the sum of value that we are passing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. The method does not accept any values. Okay. So when I'm calling, I'm uh, passing some values. So I'm going to write something inside the method so that it will accept all these values. Then I'm using the rest operator. Rest operator. Rest operator. Rest operator. You should change the function definition, right? Yeah. You should not change function definition. So you need to write the logic, right? Uh, logic in the sense, uh, you just need to tell how uh, the values can be accepted inside the yeah. You have to write the logic. Logic, if you, if you get the values inside that, it, it's just a sum of all these values, right? Yeah. Arguments that uh, we have, uh, the, all the arguments comes in the arguments here. <coughs> <laughs> we are looking at the array and we sum the values. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is the output of this one. You, you are calling anything? This is an object, right? So you are calling anything here? Okay, count of the start. So in the setting travel, you will not you will not give the any second order. Right? I mean for a for a for a particular number of time we need to execute the set time interval. For every five minutes or for every two minutes we need to do this one. So generally, so if we, I think it's the one, it's calling the start function. So set interval is doing and it's giving the value 1. So okay, getting the value 1. 1, 2, 3. I mean, actually, we need to give pass the second argument for set interval. Based on the time, it will execute like out 5 minutes. It's continuous to execute, I think so. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah. I don't know the internet that I have prepared for you. Do you have anything? Nothing. Okay. Thank you. Tell me this. Take a leave.